Now, it's been a roller coaster ride for Louisiana this season. They win the first two contests, they drop the next three, and then were high again in the next two before falling to Southern Miss in a short week. That's a four and four season record as the Cajuns welcome in Troy, who sits atop of the Sun Belt West. It was senior day for new Iberia native Zion Hill Green and 19 Cajun UL looking to send their seniors out. Top of the second quarter. Quarterback Ben Woodridge keeps for an 11-yard touchdown in the 7-0 UL. But right before the half, the Cajuns looking to strike again is Chris Smith with 25 of his 97 yards here. That set up a Kenny Almendarez field goal, but he was only one of three in the first half. Now UL is now up by 10 at the break in third quarter. Louisiana marches right down again. And it'll be Ben Woodridge again, this time for a 10-yard touchdown. He stayed down for a sec, but he did return. But UL leads 17-0. But after the Trojans scored a touchdown at the end of the third, Gunnar Watson finds D. Lewis for a 35-yard score, and Troy trails by three. And after tying it at 17, Troy has a shot with a minute left as Kamani Vado puts them in field goal range with 10 seconds left. And the Trojans run one more play to get it closer. But Vidal says, I want it all, a 22-yard game-winning touchdown, and UL falls in a heartbreaker, 23-17. to Seth Lewis has more from Cajun Field. Megan, to use a baseball analogy, when Louisiana was up 17 to nothing in the third quarter, it felt like having a five-run lead in the World Series with a great bullpen. But as we learned this week with the Astros, no lead is safe. The Jaguars scoring 23 unanswered points over the final 15 minutes of this contest, and as a result, stealing a victory from the Cajuns on senior night. You know, we're just losing in the worst ways, man. You know, um, start fast, have a hard time finishing. You know, start a little slow, it's a little too little, too late. Um, you know, it's at the end of the game, you got to execute on, on in all three phases, and you got to make it work. You know, you got to make field goal kicks when you're supposed to have them. You, you got to run the ball at the end of the game whenever you got to close the game out, and you got to stop it. Um, you know, and, and it, it, everyone has a piece in it. You know, I mean, from us as coaches. Um, you know, players executing, um, you know, and, and just finding a way to get the job done. And right now, you know, it's hard to find the words to tell a group of kids that they've, I mean, they work their tails off. You know, you're going to have people that hang their head every now and then, you know. But my thing is, I'm always a positive person. You know, it's back it's back to work. It's, it's, it's reality. You know, in life, everything won't go, in your, it won't go your way. You won't always win every game, you know. You also won't lose every game, you know. It just, it happens. It matters how the table swings, you know, how the tables turn. So UL falls to four and five on the season, and they will need to win two of their last three games to become bowl eligible. Next up, a very quick turnaround when they host Georgia Southern on Thursday. At Cajun Field, Seth Lewis, KTC Sports.